Hi there, Karen Rockind, AKA Purpose Girl, with a message about self okayness. So, we hear a lot about self love as an empowerment coach and a corporate trainer, someone who works with people and companies worldwide, and especially women and young women on really knowing who they are and loving themselves. I get this question all the time What is self love? Is it taking a bubble bath? Is it getting more massages? You know, we hear it all over the place you know, bumper stickers are saying, love yourself, and I say it all the time. What does it really, really mean? I have had my own challenges really figuring out what it means, working with clients so they can figure out what it means. And here's what it means. It means delighting in yourself, right? Caring about yourself, forgiving yourself in the way that you might delight in, care about, and forgive a young child. The way you might forgive your daughter or your son or your favorite niece or a student, right? And that's sometimes it's easier to do for someone else and especially a young child than it is for ourselves. And sometimes we're so filled with self-loathing, right? How many of you out there, you beat yourselves up, right? I know I do way too often and I work on it all the time, right? So we beat ourselves up for things that we did in the past, things we said or we didn't say, ways we handled situations, wishes, you know, regrets that we have about what we did or didn't do. Or we beat ourselves up for the future, what we think will happen, won't happen. Right? We're constantly so mean to ourselves. We say things to ourselves that we wouldn't dare say to anyone else. We wouldn't dare say to a friend, and if someone else said those things to a friend, we would kick their behinds, right? We're so sometimes beating ourselves up and so in that place of self-loathing right over here, that the idea of self-love seems way too far away. And we're going, ah, I forget self-love, right? It's just, what, I'll just go take another bubble bath? What we have to do maybe first is dial it back. And before we can get to self-love, maybe we just get to self-okayness, right? My own coach gave me this concept, self-okayness, where we can at least, even if we don't love all of our quirks, we can at least look at them and go, okay, this is, this is part of my personality. I'm someone, I can be very forgetful, right? I leave the house and I usually have to come back at least once or twice, or I forget to email people back. I, that's a truth of mine, or at least it has been in the past. Rather than beating myself up for it, can I at least begin to go, you know what, I'm okay with me. I'm okay with not being perfect. I'm okay actually with seeing those imperfections as part of what makes me perfect. Can we at least begin to be okay with ourselves? And here's how it works. Usually that which we're beating ourselves up over is basically we're resisting it, right? And rather than resist it, can we lean into it? Can we surrender to it and at least accept it? And it's not easy to do, right? It's, sim it's, it's a way of beginning to go, this is a truth about me. And even if it's not something I want to be in the future, this is a truth and I'm okay with it. Or maybe that there are bigger things in your life that you're grappling with, right? Maybe it's your sexual preference and you're afraid to tell people. I, that was an issue for me younger in life. I've made it cl clear on these videos that I had a girlfriend in high school and I was so afraid to tell people. I was so afraid that my parents wouldn't you know, approve or be okay with it and we didn't tell any of our friends. Well, so it was a real resistance for me. It was a real struggle. And now, you know, what might it have been like as a teenager if I had just been okay with it? If I had just said, you know what, I'm okay. It's okay that I love a girl. It's okay. And that's what we would say to a young child who came to us with a challenge. We would say, it's okay, honey. It's okay that you got a B instead of an A. It's okay that you have feelings for a girl. It's okay, right? It's going to be okay. And that's what self-okayness is. So maybe before we get to self-love and really delighting in and, you know, that concept of kind of love this grand concept, why don't we dial it back first? Dial it back to self okayness. That's what I'm doing. And that's what I hope for you. With that, I hope you have a fabulous day. That you look in the mirror and you go, I'm okay. And if you need help with any of these concepts, or you have a daughter or a son or school children, let me know. Email me when you didn't feel okay when you were young. Email me if you just have a story you want to share or email me with a situation you're dealing with now. It's Karen, C-A-R-I-N at KarenRockine.com. Let me know. 
And if you need help, let me know. I always offer free 30 minute consultations with people just to get you on the track of being a rock star in your life. And being a rock star begins with being okay. So with that, have a fabulous day. I hope you come to be okay with yourself, to then love yourself, to live with purpose and love life. Bye for now.